is, is this mixing where he's presently in GIMP painter that modified GIMP with some patches uh, uh, towards painting. Okay, then we have a sketch brush, but I will just shortly show it. Uh, the story is that uh, it is a port of a Harmony tool. The Harmony tool is done by Mr. Doop, the man who created this application in HTML5, and uh, I like the effect and report it. I ported it to Krita, that's some just new brush. And it creates very nice lines and has very nice shading. Then we added uh, this, uh, some tablet settings you can comp uh, to be the global pressure uh, and map it to a curve. And this is usually important for artists with that tablet so that they, maybe the tablet, is, the tablet uh, input is behaving differently so we can tweak it with the curve. Okay, very funny feature is a paint, uh, is mirror stroking. So I paint on one side and I have it mirrored on the left side. Uh, this idea was present in Alchemy and uh, David Rebois uh, used this feature when he's doing his uh, sketches and paintings and I will I wanted to have it increase as well. Basically, I added this feature and it's really fun. I will leave it to um, Timothy to demonstrate it in more. Okay, then uh, compared to my paint, uh, my paint usually has a, a sort of little mask, and the increase I can have also big map as brush mask. Same in uh, same in uh, Gim. And now we added support for SVG files, so you can put a SVG file in a Krita brush directory and it will be rasterized and used as brush mask. We plan to improve it uh, because currently it is rasterized and if you want to change the size, you have to change the size in the SVG file. Um, and then we also support PNG files as brush mask. As brush mask. Okay, regarding the user interface, there, there were some improvements in Krita, mm, some new parts of Krita is basically uh, set up around various Docker. And uh, regarding Docker, as a Google Summer of Code project, we, we got new color selector, and it is one of the be best color selectors in the open source software. Uh, these are the words from David Revo. So you can have really a wide choice of uh, color sources and many advanced options. Mm, the color, this color structure also so sh show the history of the colors or various gradients to help you select the colors when you paint the gray. Uh, then we have a very nice feature uh, regarding the canvas. Uh, Basically, this feature is about if you want to draw a, a side lane line, it is easy if it is vertical, right? So, oops, this is my creator. Okay, this is easy, yeah, but uh, if I need this right line, is problem. So, let's, let's, what about rotating the canvas, yeah? We can rotate the canvas freely and we can freely go down our side line. We don't transform the image, we just transform the image to the view. Okay. <laughs> then we have a new dynamic brush outline, basically. You have a brush and it has some parameter dynamic, like here pressure. So you can see on the canvas that also the brush is changing the size, but also the, the outline is changing the size. can help you, you need to paint some details, maybe. Okay, and then some another user interface improvement is uh, some basic work was done on the workflow management, so you can save the positions of the various Docker uh, as a workflow, and then you can easily switch between them. Okay, I think I showed all, all I wanted, maybe. Uh, okay, maybe place this. Let's get back to the presentation. So, 
this is what is in Krita currently new and what is coming the uh, Google Summer of Code 2011 that will bring in resource management to Krita. Uh, when you are a professional digital painter, you have a lot of brushes, patterns, brush presets, and you need to tag them and find them quickly. This project will be compatible with Gimp brush, uh, Gimp uh, resource management. So we are excited about it. Uh, then we will have multi threading for tools that is important for stability and speed. Uh, also, it is important to be um, to support the real world. So we want to support uh, not, uh, binary format from Photoshop. PSD uh, we will have importer and hopefully export that too as a Google Summer of Code project. And then the uh, field selections are usually more usable in image manipulation, but uh, if you are a digital painter, you can maybe use those two. Idea from Sir Berger is a comic studio. Krita is very good when you work on one page of a comic, but if you want need to work on with more pages, uh, you would have to switch back and forth, and the comic studio will be probably new application in Calgary Suite. Uh, and it, it should help you to work with many pages if, if you are painting comics. And there are some new painting ideas. I'm working on a multi-hand tool. Basically, it will allow you to do crazy mirroring or uh, symmetry when you paint, or you can paint with a few brushes at the same time, and so on and so on. Uh, and then not another painting idea I have currently is to, to be somehow like doing the animation or something like that. Uh, so that, uh, I don't know if you have seen some fluid demos, it's very nice, you can control fluid simulations uh, with mouse, and I will think let's use this for painting. I will see where we will get with this. And then also important thing for Critite polishing, we did some uh, uh, two, two real world parties uh, built some uh, questionnaire about the, the, the status of Krita and we came to the conclusion that uh, we need to polish Krita and they are happy with the speed, with the performance. Basically, there are some small stuff missing. Okay, uh, no, I we, Krita team, are very great because we collaborate with other open source projects. Regarding the MyPaint, where we support MyPaint uh, brushes. We are trying to integrate MyPaint brush uh, engine into Krita. Uh, Maxi and John are around for help. It's very nice. Um, it's very nice. Uh, then with GIMP, we are compatible in the sense that we support uh, brush mask from, from GIMP and XCF file. And also, we support something from Gloom, I forgot. The resource management will be compatible also. And there's a nice story with Alchemy. Alchemy is a tool for sketching, fast sketching, but it is very exp uh, experimental tool. And David Rewa uh, was using it. He's a professional digital painter. And I wanted to kill this tool in his workflow. So basically, we port I ported the paint, uh, the mirroring of the stroke to Krita. And, uh, some experimental shape paint up. So basically, uh, now he's using Krita because he has mirroring and this shape tool in Krita. And all he needs that in his work. So, uh, artist community of Krita is growing. That's great news for us. Uh, in 2010, we had uh, like four active artists and they were usually painting just dem demos and they reported the bug. But in 2011, there are like four times more, more artists using Krita, and they are doing real stuff. Uh, we have first comic done in Krita, we have uh, first video done with Krita, one crazy guy just uh, painted every frame in the video with Krita. Then we have some uh, sketches from, from David, and uh, some more than one comic. After two comics, and one comic, one comic is actually looking for a publisher, so maybe it will be uh, printed also. Well, we have also very healthy uh, community of developers, and we 
activity for new people, they are very open, friendly, and so we invite you to contribute with us to, to make it a great. So we are we have great art, we have a growing artist community, we have great art uh, developers, and then.